What's going on guys, Eddie at Fliptronics. I'm gonna be talking about the best poker app for beginners and how you can start playing in 2020. Okay, so I've been playing poker for the last 15 plus years. You could definitely say I have a passion for the game. Um, we're gonna be taking a look at Bovada here because you can actually play real money games straight from your phone. Now I've been on Bovada for the last 10 years almost um, and I'll have some links in the description and comments if you guys wanna sign up and get started here. Um, I'm also gonna break down some gameplay. I had pocket tens here. Now, I was playing a $100 game. It was a $0.50 cent dollar game. These are actually pretty low stakes for me. But, um, you know, whether you want to check out some play money games, they do have play money on here, or you can just head to the to the real money games. Um, I do recommend the real money because you're going to find players are actually going to, you know, play the way they're supposed to and not, you know, just shove all in and make stupid bluffs and, you know, things like that because it's going to be for real money. And honestly, I think that's the best way to learn is to play for real money. Um, but we're going to break down this hand. Now, I had pocket tens um, and everybody folded around to me in a six person cash game. I put in a standard raise here, three bucks, nothing, uh, nothing too serious. And, uh, you know, we're going to see a flop. Now, player three is the only one that's going to be uh, playing with me on this hand. Um, and I'll tell you what, this was a crazy... A crazy hand just a crazy turn of events and i really didn't put this guy on what he had anyways let's take a look at the flop here we've got deuce six nine nothing really scary out there um so i am going to put a continuation bet in this is actually a really good flop for pocket tens all you know pretty much uh cards that you know are under tens and the only thing that can really beat me right now is if the guy obviously has like a set if he's got deuces sixes or nines but you know whatever i got to put in my standard continuation bet and um he is actually going to make the call and we're going to see a turn card okay so the turn card is an ace now probably not a good card for me but i decided to stay strong here and continue uh because i don't want to look weak with that ace coming out there is the possibility that he was floating me with like ace queen or something like that um but I put in a continuation bet. Uh, player three thinks about it for a little bit. He's going to make the call, and then we're going to see the river card. All right, so the river card is going to be a nine. And to be honest with you, this was a scare card for me because if he was calling me with like 10, nine, um, you know, then I'm in I'm in trouble, something like that. So there's no reason for me to bet here on the river. Um, so I just check it over to him. And he's actually going to put in a bet um, here on the uh, the river. Decent size bet. And I had to think about it for a little bit. But I am, am going to make the call here. All right, so he puts in a $9 bet, which is definitely easy enough for me to just make the call. Um, and uh, unfortunately, he's going to turn over ace nine. You got to be kidding me, right? Anyways, uh, you know, I thought I played that hand probably the best I could. Um, but if you guys want to get started playing, definitely check out the real money games on Bovat. I'll have links in the description and comments. Um, feel free to message me below. If you have any questions, smash the like button and we'll see you in the next one.